Good evening everybody, Irish here with you. Hey, this is going to be a low-key message, you guys. It is Wednesday, and I think it's April 6th today. Forgive me if I'm wrong. And um, thank you guys for all the prayers, the thoughts, the cares, the emails, the texts, the calls, everything. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, the messages are all uh, welcome, and we appreciate them here at the ministry because uh, I had a migraine yesterday, and I had my, my tooth has been acting up, and so I got some stuff packed in my tooth. To try and remedy the situation and thank you guys for all the prayers and and thank you to uh you guys who reached out thank you very much i appreciate it uh but yeah that's what's causing my headaches so um i'm not i don't I'm not going to get into it you guys i've had i've been having tooth issues for years on and off i take care of it and then another one pops up or you know how it goes and uh um so yeah that's the way it is so uh we'll get through it you guys i'm gonna tough it out uh, i have a lot going on I want to bring you guys a message first and foremost here tonight. I got some work to do out here. I got some lights to fix. And <clears throat> so I got to keep my spirits up, you guys. Even though the sun has not been shining here in Minnesota, shine bright for Christ because that is the ultimate goal. And that's what we need to be an example of towards Him to, to, to shine through through Christ. So here it is in, in, in chapter 2, Philipp, uh, Philippians 2. Have the attitude of Christ. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from His love? Any fellowship together in the Spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and purpose. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. And though He was God, He did not think of Equality with God is something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position as a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all names, that the name of the Lord, or that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth, under the earth, and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Wow, that is a message that keeps me on my toes for Jesus. So in recovery aspects, moving forward, perseverance, being strong, having steadfast faith that God will come through for us, that Jesus Christ will be everything that we need to stay sober, and to stay in recovery. Uh, man, I gotta tell you guys, between um, Everybody on the channel, everybody that has come through the channel and then left, and people that we haven't haven't met, met yet, haven't touched yet, haven't had a chance to minister yet, I can feel amongst you guys the fellowship amongst us. There's a true there's a true thing happening there. There's a spiritual maturity among a lot of you guys that's helping us develop what we are calling our spiritual maturity. And what we're, what we're working on in our toolboxes is a lot different from the people that are spiritually mature, what they're working on. So they're helping us. And so thank you guys. Thank you to some of the elders on the, on the channel and some of the people that are taking uh, care of us and that are commenting great scripture, that are commenting great comments, that are getting back to other people when I can't because I work a lot, you guys. So when that stuff is happening behind the scenes, it's you guys using this channel as a platform to help others. And that's what it's all about, you guys. So humble humble ourselves and ask God for humility and, and, and ask him to bless the people that we come across on this channel because you know what, it's always nice to be important but it's more important to be nice. Am I right my friends? And be nice in Jesus Christ's name. So that's the message. Uh, a little underwhelming now because I got this tooth thing going on but you guys don't fret. I don't plan on stopping. We just need to continue on, onward and upward, always progressing. We're never going backwards. We're never staying stagnant. We're always moving. Sometimes in the fast lane, but we need to slow down and get into God's Word. So if you don't have a copy of God's Word, contact me, irishguyjg at yahoo.com. irishguyjg at yahoo.com. Get me an email, and I will get your address, your first name, and a last initial. I don't need your last name. Some people are comfortable giving it to me. Some people aren't. But all I need is a P.O. box uh, or, or whatever, and I can get you a copy of God's Word. It is a uh, study Bible, and I also have some other Bibles too. So, hey. The door is open here to get God's word into people's hands, and we've had some, we've had much success having success getting people's hands on God's word. Sorry, I don't know how to really word that because it's not like I'm selling things and it's not like I'm handing them out on the street. But we've had success 
mailing people Bibles. We've had success in the U.S. doing that. And we've had success people reaching out. So the outreach is working. The outreach, that's what I was looking for. The outreach is working. The success that we're having. And one Bible at a time. But hey, that's, that's fruitful in the eyes of the Lord. So that's what we need to look for and upon Him to give us the strength to continue to do these, these tasks that He gives us. So uh, I love you guys. God bless. Uh, we will probably see you tomorrow. Um, but yeah. We will see you guys tomorrow, but um, if you need anything, you know where to find me, all right? God bless, guys.